Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to make advanced YouTube intro using Filmora 9. But first let's take a look what we are going to create. Alright, let's get started. Before opening the Filmora make sure all your files are at same location, well it is not necessary but doing this keeps your project organized. Alright now that we all are ready, open Filmora and choose 16 by 9 ratio to start with. This is how Filmora 9 usually looks alike. Let's start importing project files, to do so drag and drop all the required files into project media. Okay. Now drag your background to the timeline, FYI between you and me, you can use whatever background you like, it's up to your imagination that how an intro should look alike, but for the sake of this tutorial I am just gonna use this simple gradient that I had created in Photoshop, don't worry these files will be in the description box for your practice, moving on, drag and drop your logo in the timeline above the background, Double click on the logo to open its properties and reposition and transform as required. Remember that the X changes position to horizontally and Y changes position to vertically. Well play around, it's not like chemistry that you have to sum up everything. Ok, once you are happy with everything let's give our logo some motion. I will go with this simple bounce effect, because it's appealing to look, and it's got a nice bounce. Alright once that's done. Drag the logo layer to layer 3 because we are going to place a text between our logo and background, I will choose this simple text, position it onto the timeline and double click to go to advance options, here, delete the default text, click on the custom shape to make a shape, I will choose a custom font but you can choose any, just make sure the size of leading text is big enough for viewer to look change the text to something that you want. Look I am not here to really work on text I just want to show you how the effect works. Choose a font that you like. Change the text color to black and shape color to white. Untick everything except text color and shape color. The idea is just to make text appealing to viewers and stand out. Like you can see I am changing the text again to something different. Like I said it's up to you, I think this should do the job. Click OK to apply everything. Now you can use transform tool to reposition the text. Try to reposition the text just a little below the logo because we want to reveal the text from behind the logo, which in turn increases the aesthetics of the intro. Once you are happy with the potion search for an effect called down up in the animation tab. Hit OK to apply. Now the animation is ready. Nice. Now hide all the layers except the text layer. We have to import this as a video file. You can just hit import but I want to go with 24 frame but it's not really necessary. Let the video gets imported. Once the video is imported bring it into project media by dragging and dropping, delete the text layer and import the video that we created in its place. Make sure to unhide layers that we have disabled, I almost forget every time, we have to fix the black background, to do so, double click on video layer of text, go into composition section, and change the composition to something like screen, this will hide black pixels and reveal white pixel, which give us this transparent text. So far this is looking nice, now play the text layer video, frame by frame and look for the point where it is just behind the logo, you want to find the position from where you want to start the text animation, cut it, and do the same for the out animation, that is, from ending, you don't want to go the text all the way to top. Alright. Let take another text layer and I am just going to keep it simple. Font is Roboto, keep the size small, anywhere between 20 to 30 should do the job, don't worry about the position, 
we will fix it in the properties tab, once you are happy with text, double click on it, and go to video tab then go to transform, and reposition it below the main text, alright. Now find an animation called to the right one. and hit OK. Fix it so that it just start after the main text, play it to see if it's aligned properly, well it's all depends on the look you are going for, but concept remains the same. We are almost done. Now let's import the shadow of all these elements, so that it looks like floating in air, it's a PNG file that I had created in Photoshop, the link of this file will be in the description box, check to download. Now reposition the shadow and reduce the opacity to make it realistic. Place it on the timeline so that it just appear and disappear after the logo and text. You can also apply dissolve transition to make it blend to the scene, this will alone make the intro look more dynamic. Now add whatever sound effect and music you prefer to add, I will recommend to go after fast swoosh effect because the animation is fast, and add some upbeat music. Remember music gives life to the video so it should be good, after everything is set, import the video. Bring this imported video to timeline and add a crop and zoom effect, just a subtle zoom, it makes the intro more dynamic. And we are done. Import this final video and we have something like this. I really hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more advanced tutorials, have a good day my friends stay healthy and stay creative. See you till the next video.